All right, y'all. Funny stories aside, I got to sit here. Oh, I'm greasy. Um, I got to tell y'all about how wonderful life is. Y'all know my handle is AskAlexis111, right? And 111 is the number of manifestation according to my Google search. Um, but I want to let you know something. So I'm doing this actively authentic allyship course because authenticity is something that I was naturally born with. And anytime I try to be outside of authentic, I am uh, unhappy. Like it actually hurts my feelings not to be my authentic self now that I have done the like deep psychological awareness work or consciousness awareness work. But I had that spiritual awakening and I learned that our thoughts actually do shape our reality. Right. And in that, like in learning that, then, of course, I'm like, "Ooh, let me manifest everything. Not realizing like you got its layers and levels to this stuff. And so like sometimes you spiritually bypass and sometimes you're not. But reality still look like reality. And then, too, as much as we can affect our relative realities, we can't really affect everybody around reality unless we stick together because we all connected but that's not the point of this video this video i know i don't I, sometimes i'll be sassy but i'm having just like this amazing amount of gratitude and let me tell you let me show you why let me see if i could do this okay i might not be able to do this while i'm on the camera but look at this let me see this is the facilitator guide for my course right and i was blessed enough you see this, you see the slide after slide, help and direction to be able to be now in my, my journey, right? Like I'm not sitting here, I'm not about to act like I didn't have no part in this or nothing like this. But when I started volunteering for prisons, I got put in to go into prisons with the Alternatives to Violence Project to do these monthly workshops where you teach people the power of affirmation, communication, cooperation, um, and community building. All these things I didn't even know that was necessary for me. Because, of course, I went in. I'm all self-centered. I'm going to be everything I think I can be. I didn't realize the work, right? I had to put in the work to realize the work. But in this moment, I recognized that through listening to my moon being, developing my intuition, and then also acting with active, authentic intention. And being open to see the results and rec and learning the difference between intention and impact was what prepared me to be able to manifest the support and help I need to bring this course forward. I'm a scatterbrain. I got ideas for days. They be amazingly, I like I can articulate them exceptionally well. But one of the things that's really, really a challenge for me is writing. I've been, always been good. Well, is, I've been good at math and science for a while now. And... I'm very like hot, cerebral, like super thinker. And I've been known to be a little bit weird or like I dance to the beat of my own drum. But one of the people that I did alternatives to violence with, when I was telling them about what I want to do, they said, well, and shout out. Well, I'm not going to give her a name because I didn't ask her, but I have such extreme gratitude for this woman because she helped me like this course, this, this, the first, the first module is about creating a safe space for yourself for the community that we are building with this course and then too also for the world right but it comes in stages the personal development is a process it's a transformation not a destination and so like I'm going through the facilitator guide I'm getting practice I'm practicing because I'm getting all excited about the course we got five spots five spots left but she said, well, Alexis, you know, I specialize in instructional content design. I would be happy to help you. It would be, a, I've been craving a way to be of service. And this whole time while I'm freaking out, while I'm like, I understand this, it was crying, snot and tears, trying to figure out like, oh, it was a whole thing because my brain was also feeling all this anxiety. Well, not my brain, my body was feeling it. My brain was just generating all the thoughts that go along with it. But that's another story. Um, I don't know why I'm stuck on my hair because I can see it. Um, but she was nothing but compassionate and kind, and she is an excellent listener. And when I look at this course, what I am, 
is so full of gratitude and y'all know how the gratitude sauce work whenever you feel that gratitude the way i'm feeling it right now life just gives you more and more reasons to be grateful somebody got me some care bears today too i don't know if y'all saw that other post where i was asking like you don't understand about the level of gratitude that i'm feeling because i finally feel like i'm my whole self and through that I'm walking in my purpose. I'm shining my light as bright, like as bright as, you know, when Mary Ann Williamson be teaching about shining your light. I'm meeting, I'm having supportive connections. I'm making genuine friendships. And after that awakening, it was financial scarcity. It was uh, discord in every single relationship in my life. And honestly, if it wasn't for my moon being my ancestors, my ego, my higher, like if it wasn't for all my spiritual support, I would not even know how to deal or have physical support. And I'm still learning. So I just want to say shout out to the woman who is the wind beneath my wings right now. And you know who you are. And the only reason I'm not calling you out by name is because I don't know if you're ready for that light because she happens to sometimes be an introvert. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. And Whoa. Thank you for bringing my vision to light. And this is just a facilitator guy. We're going to be creating safe spaces, teaching people skills to get in touch with their why so their allyship isn't performative, helping people get in touch with their authentic intention. And then that's just week one. We got to be building on this for nine more weeks and y'all don't even know how much awesome shit we have to come. And seeing this first module, seeing it come to light, let me know that we are so on the right track. If you have it in you or if you find a time, frankly, I'm so pumped up about this. Hit me up in my inbox if you want to be a part of the course and you just want to see how we can go about making that happen. It's for white women who are interested in developing their allyship skills becoming an ally and a co-conspirator, but in an authentic way, in a full-on embodiment way, not being performative. This ain't just about sticking the sign in your lawn. This is about getting in touch with your own why, your own drive, and then letting that be your guiding light for the way you supposed to express an allyship. And when I say supposed, that's determined by you. Okay. And what supposed, that's determined by you. So this course is going to be amazing. It's going to be transformative. I really do think it's going to be transformative for me too. Like I, I'm just so full of gratitude right now. I don't even know what that I was crying last night. Like I was sitting there meditating and I just had all these happy tears. So thank you. You know who you are. You are the wind beneath my wings. Like Beth Midler say, um, and I guess I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.